What's good YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to have double movement all the time 24-7 without even thinking about it. Now I can show y'all what double movement is better than I can explain it. So I'm going to hop into creative and hopefully correctly demonstrate what double movement is. All right, so what double movement is, it basically increases your strafe strength. So for example, right now I'm on controller. And as you see on controller, you see how I can move left to right like this? I'm touching every corner of these blocks on controller. So this is what controller movement looks like or controller strafe. You know, this is important because say you're getting shot at, you know, you could, it's gonna be a lot harder to get hit when you can strafe like this. Now this is what strafing on keyboard and mouse looks like. All right, so I'm on keyboard and mouse and I'm gonna try to do the same thing. You see how I can't even reach the corners right now? That's because for whatever reason, keyboard and mouse has like a weak strafe strength now what double movement does now now this is keyboard and mouse on double movement this is what a strafe looks like you see how i can hit every corner now that's what double movement does you know like i said it's important because it makes you harder to hit say say you want to get to that block but you're getting shot at from over there or like say the circle is closing in but someone is shooting at you and you know you don't want to lose your forward momentum when you have double movement keybinds you know you could keep that forward momentum and continue to build off to the side like this and protect yourself now compare that to regular WASD movement let's see how much um, walls I can build now oh wait I wasn't using okay regular WASD movement I can't even do it okay one two so three, you can only build three walls before you completely lose your forward momentum when you're using regular WASD movement. So as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty um, advantageous to be able to do this, right? To have this movement. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video is how you can always have this movement. As you can see, I always have it, like without even thinking about it. I'm, I always have this double movement. Someone started shooting me, I could just, you know, simply just start building walls like this. And it's not a problem all right so the first thing you have to do is go into settings and go to your key binds boom all right so here are the movement key binds as you can see where it says move left i have a where it says move right i have d but in this section in the second section right here i also have cap lock on move left and i have f on move right giving me this double movement now the downside about having double movement is that you know you have to constantly press a different key while you're pressing d right so like say you you make your second movement key bind say you make a v whenever you move right you're gonna have to also press v or say you make left shift left so whenever you press a you're gonna have to also press some um, left shift you know you always have to do that making it quite difficult to learn and not really optimal like nobody's gonna be in a build fight you know thinking of you know oh i'm moving to the right now i also have to press v like no one's gonna do that right it's very like it's just too hard right like no one has time to do that or learn that but so what i did was i figured out a trick to always have this movement without even thinking about it so that's what i'm gonna be showing you guys in this video all right now this trick is really easy to pull off you only need three things and that's something thin and hard pause like this card some scissors and some tape all right so the first thing you want to do is cut two sections off of your card now i already did this because i already have mine set up but the important thing to note is that you want these two pieces to be long enough or big enough to sit on top of two keys now just to show y'all how i did it i'm gonna cut a third piece off and i'm gonna show you guys how i apply the tape and how i put it on the actual keyboard all right, so I got my third piece right here. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I um, set up the tape. Boom, got the piece of tape right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it up. so I rolled up the tape that's the second step and what you want to do is you ju you're just gonna need two pieces of this of this rolled up tape 
So, you know, cut your first piece. Cut your first piece right there. And then a second piece of tape. Boom. All right, now you're gonna get these little pieces of tape and you're gonna put one like close to one side of the of your uh, card and the other one close to the other side. You want these to be on top of separate keys. That way it's gonna stick on real good. All right, here it is. Got the tape on the other side. And you're just gonna pick two keys, right? So I'm gonna pick these two keys right here. Boom, and just lay it on top. Boom, there it is. So basically what that does is I just combined the two keys. Now I got mine set up right here, the actual movement keys. I put one on top of D and on top of F and the other one on top of A and on top of cap lock. I also don't have a Windows key that's unrelated, but I got tired of exiting out of games. So I just popped it out, a little bonus tip for y'all. But anyways, back to the um, purpose of this video, the movement keys. So yeah, every time I press down on D, I also press down on F. Anytime I press down on A, I also press down on cap lock. As you can see, look, every time I press down on A, you see the cap lock light turn on and off. That's because I basically physically binded these keys. A lot of people watching this are probably like, I would love to do this, but I already have F as an important bind in my setup. Like I use F as my floor or my wall. Now, the good thing about this is that it doesn't have to be D and F. It could be D and E, or it doesn't have to be A and cap lock. It could be A and Q. It just depends on how you set up your card. So, you know, there's probably a lot more creative ways in which you can do this. Again, just to clarify, in order for this to work, you have to go into your settings and you have to set up a second movement bind. So if you're using D and E instead of D and F, this right here has to be E, not F, but they have to be connected. Now I've been using this for like almost three months and I can honestly say there is no downside. Like I can do everything I was able to do before except everything is just a lot better. Like, you know, having more movement is never a bad thing. Honestly, everything is just a lot better with this movement. Like there's no downsides. Well, obviously the downside is you lose two key binds, right? But for me, I had F as my trap button and cap lock as my auto run button so it really wasn't a big deal for me to use those key binds i just move them over to my mouse but you know at the end of the day it's going to be up to you guys whether or not you guys want to do this but yeah that's the only downside is that you lose two keys and other than that though there's no negatives to it but yeah that's going to be it for the video hopefully it helps you guys